Good morning class. Today we are going to start a new topic. It is uh, Unit 2, Supplementary Reader. Title of the story is Zigzag, written by Asha Nemia. Let's start the lesson. Now let's begin with the details regarding the author. Um, let's start. Listen carefully. Asha Nemia was born in 1958 at Chennai and has lived, studied and worked in eight different cities and small towns and is now a resident of Bangalore. She has always been interested in writing. Her love for reading led her to study literature in college. If she had not been a writer, she would have been a teacher. Humor, fantasy, mystery and adventure are the strong elements in her work. She loves baking, walking, reading and traveling. So this is a short outline about the author Asha Nemia. Clear? Yes. Okay, class. Let's start the lesson. Um, listen carefully while I'm reading. Okay. Uh, yes. Dr. Ashok T. Krishnan's clinic usually sounded more like an ancient Chinese torture chamber than a child specialist clinic. This is because the tiny children who were his patients left out a variety of blood curling yells and ear splitting sobs. It's all because my patients were making so much noise and crying so loudly. He apologized to his wife one evening that Somo couldn't hear me properly. He rang me in the clinic to ask whether we could keep Zigzag with us when he leaves for Alaska. And now Somo thinks I said yes even though I clearly said no. I know you are busy getting your painting ready for your exhibition next week. Okay. Interrupt, uh, zigzag. Interrupted there. Nine year old daughter Maya. So this is the first scene in this story. Uh, initially they are introducing a character named Dr. T. Dr. Ashok T. Krishnan. And uh, I, th I think he is the important character in this story. And he is a child specialist. And, uh, um, the author is comparing his uh, clinic with a Chinese torture chamber, ancient Chinese torture chamber. Because uh, from his clinic, there will be always um, blood curling yells and ear spitting sobs. Why? Because uh, the children come there, uh, they are they're afraid of the injection and uh, they are afraid of the tablet and all. That's why they will be, they'll be crying. Like, uh, have you ever visited a pediatric doctor's clinic? It will be like uh, that all, all the time the children will be crying and shouting. Okay, so uh, that's why the author is comparing uh, the uh, Dr. Krishnan's clinic with an ancient Chinese torture chamber. Clear? Yes. So the next sentence. Um, uh, Dr. Krishnan is apologizing to his wife um, regarding the phone call that came from Dr. Somu. Dr. Somu is, uh, I guess, uh, Dr. Krishnan's friend maybe. Uh, he called him and he asked that whether he he could uh, keep his pet zigzag in his home. Um, and uh, uh, the doctor, uh, Dr. Ashok said uh, no, but uh, Dr. Somo heard that as yes, because of that loud noise made by the uh, children. They, they were crying uh, so loudly, that's why he couldn't hear properly. Uh, though um, Dr. Ashok said no, he he heard it as yes and uh, he said thank you like that he said immediately uh, after hearing the name zigzag uh, dr ashok's nine-year-old daughter maya interrupted them because she was very much fond of zigzag so this is what happening in this first paragraph for the first scene okay clear yes Okay, look at the next page. Isn't that Uncle Somo's prized giant green and gold fighting beetle the one that spits deadly poison straight into its opponent's eye? No, no, corrected her old older brother Arvind, eyes shining in pure delight. The beetle is called Spitfire. Zigzag must be Uncle Somo's pet snake, the African sidewinder. You know, that the one that slithers zigzags all over his house so uh, they are introducing uh, another character and that is uh, arvin he is um, dr dr krishna's uh, son okay um, while maya was asking about whether it was a um, uh, whether it was uncle somu's 
giant green and gold fighting beetle, the one that spits deadly poison straight into its opponent's eye. Arvind interrupted and he said, uh, no, no, and he corrected her that um, the beetle is called uh, Spitfire and Zig uh, he suspected that Zigzag must be Uncle Somo's pet snake, the African sidebender. African sidebender is a type of or a variety of snake that uh, that will be <coughs> seen in the uh, Africa. Okay, uh, and he also adds that the one that slithers zigzag all over his house. So that uh, the movement of the snake always will be like zigzag. Right? So that's why he, uh, that's why he was confused with that name zigzag. Clear. Yeah, so this is what happening in this paragraph. Yes. As class, uh, now let's move on to the next page. Um, listen carefully. I'm going to read. You're both quite mistaken. Their father hastened to explain, seeing his wife's horrified expression. Zigzag is a most harmless, unusual and lovable bird. Apparently, it was bred by a genuine African witch doctor who gifted it to Somu when he began a child specialist like me, cured the witch doctor's son while he was touring to the deepest jungles of equatorial Africa last month. Somu says the bird is an absolute treasure and a real help. It's his favorite pet, you know. So, um, in this scene, um, Dr. Krishnan um, interrupted uh, um, both, uh, both their uh, children, both of the children, and uh, he said that uh, both of them, uh, what you are what you are thinking about zigzag is completely wrong and it is mis it is a mistake um uh, he was very he was very much hastened he was very he was in a hurry to stop them because uh, uh, his wife's expression was, was seen very horrified so he was very much worried that his wife may get uh, uh, afraid of all those uh, animals okay um then he also added that a zigzag is a most harmless unusual and lovable bird um, it was uh, actually it was bred by a genuine African witch doctor, witch doctor, and uh, it was gifted to Dr. Somu because uh, while he was uh, doing, he was a child specialist uh, working in uh, Af uh, in the equatorial Africa. Uh, the, uh, he cured the uh, he cured the son of the African witch doctor. Uh, so, on behalf of or else like uh, to show his gratitude. Uh, to Dr. Somo, he just gifted it to Dr. Somo. Okay, uh, he also said that um, the bird is an absolute treasure and a real help. Somo said, Okay, it is his favorite pet. So, this is what happening in this scene. Clear Somo might be your best friend, but most of these so called favorite possessions that he has given us were absolute nuisance, countered Mrs. Krishnan angrily. A talented artist, she applied a dab of yellow ochre paint onto her painting titled Sunset at Marina. She paused for a moment to, to survey the effect and then continued. Remember the rare insect eating plant he bought back from the westest corner of Amazonian rainforest? He insisted that we keep it because it would eat the mosquitoes in the house. And now that wretched plant requires a room heater to keep it alive in Chennai. So what happens in this uh, scene is um, Mrs. Krishnan is just complaining about uh, Dr. Somo and his favorite positions, uh, so-called favorite positions uh, that he has given to the uh, to the Mrs. Mr. Krishnan's family uh, as a gift. Mrs. Krishnan angrily uh, says all those things. Uh, she she is not only. Uh, uh, she's uh, she's actually a, a talented artist, and she was uh, uh, painting uh, her masterpiece. And the name of the name of the uh, uh, drawing is uh, Sunset at Marina. While painting itself, she was like complaining about uh, Somo and his favorite possessions. Okay, she also added that. Do you remember that uh, uh, that strange insect eating plant he he brought from the wettest corner of Amazonian rainforest? He insisted that if we keep that uh, plant in our house, the, it, the plant will eat all those mosquitoes in the house. But now that wretched plant needs a room heater to keep it alive in Chennai. She said like that because uh, comparing to Chennai, uh, in the wettest part of Amazonian forest, 
the temperature will be a bit high i guess so that's why they are using a room heater to keep the plant alive so that's what happened in this paragraph are you clear students yes yes okay now let's move on to the next scene ma protested arvin he was calling his mother okay that's not really true uncle somus given us some really fabulous gifts right remember the tiny pen knife he gave me last year the one with the genuine shark's tooth blade that's been really useful maya joined the protest no one but you maya mrs krishnan told her daughter sternly would describe a pen knife that has cut open the pockets of three skirts and two pairs of jeans as really useful so in this uh, in this particular scene what ha what is happening is um, arvind arvind is a, uh, is a son of uh, mr and mrs krishnan he just uh, says that uncle somu has given uh, many useful gifts to, uh, to them um uh, then uh, the daughter maya also joined them and said that right uh, remember the tiny pen knife he gifted to me and she said it was very very much useful and it was made of what genuine shark's tooth blade so that particular pen knife's blade was made of genuine shark's tooth okay so uh, she protested that uh, it was a very useful gift for her uh, and uh, mrs krishnan interpreted and uh, told sternly to the to her daughter that uh, no one would describe a pen knife that has cut open the pockets of three skirts and two pairs of jeans as really useful because uh, what happened is uh, maya used that uh, knife and uh, she cut uh, the pockets of three skirts and two pairs of jeans so um, now mrs krishnan um, just points out that thing and uh, then how uh, then she asked how in which in which way it is very useful like that she was asking her children clear yes okay class now let's move on to the next uh, paragraph and uh, i'm going to read it listen carefully and what about the aboriginal boomerang uncle somu brought us all the way from australia demanded arvin you can't deny that it was a great hit with everyone great hit indeed mrs krishnan didn't bother to hide her sarcasm and continued considering that the boomerang sliced through all the tv aerials in the neighborhood caused permanent damage to several cars in the parking lot and knocked out our watch watchman cold with the force you threw it so yes in this scene what uh, the what is happening is um, uh, arvind is arguing uh, again about uh, uh, another uh, interesting gift that was uh, given uh, by dr somu and uh, the gift is i think but an aboriginal boomerang actually the word aboriginal uh, means uh, it is like uh, uh, from the place from the origi original original place or from the native place uh, from which the product has been made or created okay uh, the aboriginal boomerang uncle brought us all the way from australia uh, he was asking about uh, he was talking about that uh, boomerang and he says that it was a great hit uh, instead uh, mrs krishnan uh, added uh, <coughs> something with a sarcasm that yes it is it was actually a great hit it has sliced all those uh, tv aerials in our in our area and it damaged it it uh, created permanent damage to several cars in the parking lot because of the uh, boomerang and it also hit their watchman uh, to cold and uh, he fell down okay um, so these are all the Uh, effects of uh, these are the effects had that happened due to the boomerang uh, these are the things said by dr uh, krishnan's wife mrs krishnan clear yes okay guys now let's move on to the next uh, paragraph i'll read it once just listen carefully okay but zigzag is different somu says we are sure to love zigzag soothed dr krishnan because the bird can talk and sing in about 21 different languages mostly african languages of course when it sings it moves the listeners to tears 
It's Somo's thoughtless way that reduced me to tears, Mrs. Krishnan said irritably. What a time to dump this multilingual talking singing bird on us. Here I am tied up in knots trying to get my paintings together for the exhibition next week. So uh, in this scene, uh, Dr. Krishnan um, just tells about uh, what, are the, what are all the things uh, said by Somu about that uh, zigzag. Okay. Uh, he just uh, admires and he just tells about the characteristics of uh, that uh, uh, zigzag. He, t he tells that uh, the bird can talk and sing in about 21 languages and uh, 21 different languages and all those uh, languages are like or are, are, are African languages or mostly African languages. Okay. Um, um, this thing moved uh, everyone in move the, the, the song the bird sings will move everyone into tears so they'll be they'll be they'll get emotional so that's what uh, he's saying okay so in the next paragraph um uh, mrs krishnan got angry and she was very much irritated about uh, uh, mrs mr somo's idea of dumping uh, that uh, irritable parrot um i mean that uh, zigzag uh, to them okay because she was in a hurry to complete her painting uh, to uh, to exhibit her painting in the exhibition that is going to come or happen in the next week so that's what said in this particular paragraph clear yes let's move to the next paragraph listen carefully may i take zigzag to school papa arvind as always was planning ahead i want to display him in the science exhibition when is zigzag coming papa Maya was jumping up and down, all excited. Uncle Somu said he would send Zigzag with his old cook Visu sometime today. I'll have to leave for the for my clinic now. There, he added as the doorbell rang, "That's probably them." And indeed, it. Come in, Zigzag. Come in, dear. Caused Visu and in tottered the strangest weirdest looking bird that krishnan family had ever seen was so in this scene um <clears throat> what happened what's happening is um arvind arvind was very much curious about uh, having zigzag in their home not only arvind but also maya so what what, what they are uh, thinking is uh, what arvind is asking is uh, he's asking his father whether he can take zigzag to his school because uh, there is an exhibition there is a science exhibition in his school and he wants to display zigzag there so he's asking his father when zigzag will come like that okay then next maya maya is just uh, excited she was like jumping up and down um up and down uh, and waiting for the arrival of zigzag to their house okay and uh, dr dr krishnan says that uncle somu has uh, informed that he will be sending zigzag with his uh, maid or with his uh, servant cook what is his name visu okay so he says that uh, i uh, he said that he will be sending zigzag with his cook visu sometime on the same day uh, by the same time the doorbell rings and uh, dr krishnan says yes that is them definitely that is Visu with zigzag. What happens? Then uh, they are inviting zigzag and Visu inside. Come in, zigzag. Come in, dear. Like that, they are they are they are like inviting. And um, for all those family members, they were literally shocked on the appearance of zigzag because it was uh, it was looking like a tortured, strangest, weirdest looking bird. Okay. So uh, that was the appearance of zigzag. So this is what this is what I said in this paragraph. I hope you, you all clear. Let's move to the next paragraph. About a foot and a half tall, its bald head was fringed with a crown of shocking pink feathers, while the rest of its plumage was in various shades of the muddiest, sludgiest brown. Its, cur its curved beak was sunflower yellow and its eyes were the color of cola held to sunlight. This is zigzag, announced Visu with a flourish. 
His full name is Ziggy Zaga, King of the Tonga. How I am going to miss him. So beautifully he talks. He can uh, even recite French poetry. The, the object of all this praise was standing cool and unmoved with an expression of almost human grumpiness in his cola colored eyes. So yes, uh, now the the author the author is trying to explain about the appearance of zigzag. Okay, so initially he is saying that the uh, she is saying that the zigzag was about uh, a foot and a half tall. Okay, and uh, it, its bald head was fringed with a crown of shocking pink feathers. So his crown was filled with pink feathers. Um, while the rest of his plumage was in the shades of muddiest, sludgiest brown. So, the other parts of his body were in which color? Muddy, muddy color, muddiest, sludgiest brown. Okay. So, its curved beak was like sunflower yellow. So, the beak of that flower, uh, that uh, parrot was like what? Sunflower yellow, the color. Okay. Uh, then, um, Mr. Vishu, the cook of uh, Dr. Somo, just announced uh, the name, the full name. This is Zigzag. His full name is Ziggy Zaga, King of the Tonga. So, this is the full name of Zigzag. And uh, he also adds that uh, he was very much worried that, and he said that uh, how I'm going to miss him so much. He will sing so beautifully and he talks very beautifully. He can even recite French poetry and all. So, like that, he's just uh, exaggerating the special features of zigzag okay but the thing is the object which the object of all this praise which means the um, zigzag so uh, about which he was talking you know that zigzag was like it was unmoved and it was standing cool with an expression of almost a human grumpiness grumpiness in the sense it was it was like uh, some somewhat it, it looks like a sad face okay and his eyes were in which color cola color yes you, do you know the color of uh, coca cola yes so his eyes were in the color of cola that's what said in this paragraph that's what the narrator explains about zigzag and his appearance clear yes arvind finding that zigzag was sulkily refusing to say a word despite all their efforts at striking a conversation dashed into the kitchen to return with a plate heaped hurriedly with juicy fruit slices and some nuts. Bored eyes brightened momentarily as Zigzag picked up a walnut but refusing to speak. He dropped one wrinkled eyelid in a solemn wink and flew clumsily to deposit the nut on the enormous chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Bit by bit, and in total silence, all the fruit of the plate was transferred to the chandelier and on to the blades of the ceiling fan. Now switched off. Okay. So now what what was what is happening in this uh, uh, scene or in this in these paragraphs where uh, they, they actually they were very much expecting about zigzag, right? Uh, so what uh, Dr. Somo and Visu said that it will be speaking in. 21 different languages it will sing and it will speak and it will make fun like that they were said so they were very much ex excited and they were expecting zigzag to utter at least a single word but uh, zigzag was was in complete silence it did not didn't even uh, speak a single word and it was just uh, sitting simply uh, arvind was uh, uh, trying his best to make him speak but all his efforts went in vain then what happened uh, they gave him a plate full of fresh juicy uh, fruits and some nuts okay so on seeing that fruits and nuts what happened zigzag zigzag got excited momentarily and he just uh, pick, picked some fruits uh, as first initially he picked a walnut and he just kept it uh, up in a chandelier you, do you know chandelier chandelier is nothing but in uh, hotels and all there will be a glass 
lighting hanging at the roof have you ever seen yes so that that particular thing is called chandelier and uh, that uh, he he just picks one walnut and he just drops or he just picks a walnut and he just keeps in the chandelier and like that uh, he, he was just simply transferring all those fruits and nuts from the plate to the chandelier and in some in the wings of the ceiling fan which was in switched off right now so this is what happening this is what happening in this scene clear are you clear yes then perching comfortably on a curtain rod zigzag dropped one wizened eyelid in another solemn wink and he sank his beard into a plump of goa don't worry children we so comforted as he left noticing how disappointed they looked when zigzag stubbornly refused to say a single word to them even though they tried to speak him in english hindi tamil and french just wait till zigzag settles down in this new home they you can have a great time listening to him so uh, in this scene um, zigzag what it is doing is it just uh, purchases into a uh, purchases himself comfortably on a curtain rod and he was just uh, winking his eyes which means closing and opening his eyelids okay uh, and then uh, it 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 was like it is sinking his beer uh, his beak into a plump of goa goa you know right the fruit yes uh, it was just like eating the goa then Uh, visu on seeing uh, the disappointment of uh, these children uh, he just said that don't worry children uh, soon zigzag will uh, um, come to normal and he'll just talk to you soon uh, once he get comfortable with this house he'll definitely talk to you like that he said and he just comforted them because uh, zigzag was very stubborn and he he, he refused to Uh, uh even to utter or even to speak a single word so that's why the children were disappointed and uh, so, uh, what visu was comforting them so that's what happened in this scene clear yes okay class now let's move on to the next uh, paragraph listen carefully as it happened the children didn't have to wait more than 10 minutes to have a great time listening to zigzag for as soon as visu left zigzag still perched on the curtain rod went off to sleep and then moment he fell asleep he began to snore and what a snore it was actually here the word snore what do you mean by snore the sound we make while we sleep okay the nasal sound that we make while we speak uh, uh for example just wait i'll i'll just play that uh, snoring sound just listen carefully so children can you hear that noise yes so that's the a sound of uh, a snore uh, so now you can you can identify what is the meaning of snore i guess so this is what we call a snore so what happens is a zigzag starts to snore so that sound it is given so that sound is given as letters there okay so that's what don't confuse that uh, uh, don't confuse it as a something different a, a different word like that okay so yes continue let's continue it began as short as a soft grumbly sort of rumble much like that which the stomach of mildly hungered dinosaur might have made then it grew louder and louder and louder until it sounded as if a herd of elephant with cold was trumpeting angrily in the room and again that snoring sound so what happens uh, the children were waiting for zigzag to speak actually but what he did was uh, when visu left the house he started to sleep and in his sleep he started to snore and the snore was like something different and it was very what it was very noisy okay 
so the the snore started to disturb and uh, the, uh, the author is comparing that sound with the hungry stomach of a, that sound made by a hungry stomach of a dinosaur and also he uh, also she adds that uh, it was that louder when it compares to a herd of elephants uh, which means a group of elephants trumpeting angrily in the room so the sound made by the elephant is called as trumpeting and uh, that snore was compared was compared with the trumpeting sound of a angry group of elephants clear yes so listen zigzags snore pounded their eardrums till their heads ached in vain did they try to wake the snoring bird 21 languages he supposed to know snorted mrs krishnan yet this bird chooses to communicate only in snorish snorris snorian snorri lili snoru snoralu so i thought it was a scientific fact that birds couldn't snore said maya trying to squirt water from a small water pistol at zigzag to wake him and wetting most of the curtains the wall and the sofa instead so um zigzag uh, started to sleep and, the, and uh, it was uh, it was like snoring and that sound was so much disturbing and it created a uh, headache to all those people in the house and uh, it was like um, damaging their eardrums okay so uh, they tried uh, they tried to wake up zigzag and uh, mrs krishnan said that he was um, um, dr somu and uh, visu told that uh, zigzag knows 21 languages but he never spoke a single word from those languages but he chose to speak only with which language with the snore so that's what said that snorish snoris snorian snoreli or snoralu so these are like she is like uh, mocking she is like mocking zigzag that he knows 21 languages but he is not speaking a single word from that and he just only snores so uh, maya says that uh, she she was she believed that uh, uh, it was a scientific fact that birds couldn't snore but uh, in this case zigzag is snoring very loudly so uh, she wants she wanted to wake him up so she took her water gun water pistol and started to squirt water on zigzag but uh the all those actions went went in vain uh she only wetted the curtains the walls and sofa okay so this is what happening in this scene so have you understood children yes african witch doctors bird don't obey scientific rules arvin was annoyed that his best imitations of a raging lion a hungry hyena and a ferocious dog had failed to draw zigzag out of his deep slumber now he tried to try his loudest most frightening coyote call but zigzag slept on undisturbed and snored on in total despair at their failure to wake zigzag or at least to stop him snoring they shut themselves in the bedroom that was furthest away from mrs krishnan's studio where zigzag was creating the terrible din so yes um what ha- what's happening is um arvind arvind was very much annoyed of that uh, noise uh, made, that snore that snoring noise made by zigzag and uh, he says that african witch doctors bird don't obey scientific rules he, he was just annoyed in, and he just uh, start to imitate uh, animals call uh, as a as a step to wake up a zigzag so first he makes uh, he imitates uh, the uh, voice of a raging lion a hungry hyena and a ferocious dog and had failed to draw zigzag out of his deep slumber in the sense deep sleep okay so at at last finally what he tries he just uh, uh tries is best that's the loudest and the most frightening coyote call so coyote is also uh, like a like a fox like an animal and uh, he just imitates all those uh, sounds okay but all his effects all his uh, 
uh, efforts went into vain but zigzag was undisturbed and he was just start he was just continuing to sleep and he was continuing to snore okay so uh, all were uh, like uh, very much in distress and uh, they, instead of stopping him snoring they just ran away to all their uh, rooms and this this they just shut their doors closed so that's what happened this this was the um thing uh, or the problem created by zigzag and uh, zigzag was uh, in which place uh, he was in the painting room or in the uh, doc mrs doc mrs krishnan's studio where she used to paint so zigzag was in that room others just went to their respective rooms clear mrs krishnan was just unraveling a roll of cotton wool to stuff in her ears when they heard their maid lakshmi shrieking as if she had been electrocuted hearts hammering they rushed to the studio to find lakshmi dancing and clapping her hands excitedly as she yelled we have been blessed we have been truly blessed it's raining papayas and bananas in this room so in this scene what happens is mrs krishnan was already annoyed by the noise made by zigzag snore and she was like a uh uh rolling a piece a piece of cotton and just she just stuffing her ears to close and to escape from the snoring noise made by zigzag and um, all of a sudden uh, there was a shrieking noise made by their maid lakshmi as if she has been electrocuted so yeah, all of them rushed to the studio like with their hearts hammering they found lakshmi dancing and clapping her hands excitedly as she held we have been blessed and we have been truly blessed like that she held uh, and she also added that uh, uh, in this room it is raining papayas and bananas like that she held okay so that's what happening in this scene froze in horror lakshmi had apparently switched on the fan on which zigzag had left some fruits and nuts half packed fruits streamed off the fan dampening even lakshmi's enthusiasm as a goa landed on her cheek with a soft squish and one walnut hit her forehead with a loud smack one slice of overripe papaya came whizzing off the fan and as they watched it helplessly it how oh, horror splattered all over mrs krishnan's unfinished masterpiece sunset at marina spreading streaks of gooey orange pulp and shiny black seeds all over it so now the author is uh, revealing the secret behind the rain that rain of papayas and bananas okay so initially what uh, zigzag did uh, when they gave uh, fruits and nuts to him he just picked the fruits and nuts and he just placed or he just kept on the chandelier on the ceiling fans wings so now lakshmi just while switching off the fan all those fruits were like thrown away from the wings of the ceiling fan and it was like flying everywhere and uh, one of uh, one um, piece of goa landed on lakshmi's cheek and one walnut just cracked on her head with a smacking noise and uh, another piece of uh, papaya just landed just uh, flew and landed on the masterpiece of mrs krishnan named uh, sunset at marina uh, it uh, made a mess and uh, spreading streaks of uh, gooey orange pulp and shiny black seeds all over the painting so mrs krishnan was very much angry clear yes mrs krishnan groaned tragically and looked ready to shoot zigzag but he was saved by the bell the telephone bell they answered one call after another as all the neighbors rang up to demand what the awful uh, snoring sound was and if they could please have some peace and through all these commotions zigzag slept on unconcerned and snored on so what happened is all those people all those people are around uh, their house mr mr and mrs krishnan's house they just uh, called uh, them through telephone and they all inquired about the tragic snoring noise what kind of a noise what kind of awful noise it is it is very disturbing for us and uh, what the hell are you doing like that so like that uh, they are like complaining on uh, one by one they are like calling to them and they are like asking what was happening in their house and mr Krish- mrs krishnan was uh, was groaning tragically 
and uh, she was uh, getting ready to shoot zigzag um but in although uh, he was the reason zigzag was the reason for all these commotions he was like uh, very peaceful and he is like unconcerned and he was like sleeping snow while uh, he was snoring and uh, he was like peacefully sleeping okay are you clear so all those problems were created by zigzag through his uh, loud snore but now he is just sleeping peacefully finally an exhausted mrs mrs krishnan rang up her husband i'm going crazy with the sound of zigzag snoring plus all these angry telephone calls and my beautiful painting here her voice cracked you know mrs junjun wala the art critic who lives upstairs well she heard zigzag snoring and had the check cheek to the phone telephone and asked me whether i could sing a little softly when i took my singing lessons please contact somo and find out what we should do dr krishnan came home as fast as he could after he had left an email message for somo asking for him to clear instructions on how to stop zigzag from snoring so doc mrs krishnan was very much annoyed and she was like exhausted due to all those commotions and problems created by zigzag and she called immediately uh, dr K dr krishnan and she complained about all those things uh, happened in the house and um, she just complained about the uh, damage that uh, made by uh, zigzag uh, to her painting and uh, also she added that uh, the art critic who is who is staying upstairs her name is mrs junjun wala she just called mrs krishnan and asked her to sing very mildly okay she thought that she mocked mrs krishnan that the loud noise was made by mrs krishnan while she was practicing her song okay uh, so like that all those things made her uh, very angry and she just uh, asked uh, dr krishnan to contact immediately dr somo and uh, ask what they have to do now so uh, dr krishnan immediately rushed home uh, and before leaving he just uh, uh, wrote a mail uh, to uh, dr somo regarding what are the things that are necessary or other clear instructions that are necessary to stop zigzag from snoring so that's what happened in this paragraph clear yes don't worry he reassured his downcast family somo will reply soon and will discover there's some ridiculously simple way to stop zigzag from snoring six days passed six frantic days of checking their email day and night six torturous days of having the deafeningly loud snoring resound in their home most nerve-wrackingly maya complained that she had heard a permanently rumbling sound in her ears even when she was miles away from home and that her ears ached all the time arvin confessed that for the first time in his life he was actually looking forward to going to school considering it was as calm as a monastery compared to their house mrs krishnan had lost interest in painting so immediately uh, when uh, mrs mrs krishnan called uh, dr ashok that is his, her husband he rushed home immediately uh, before leaving he just uh, wrote a mail uh, regarding this problem to so dr somo and once he reached home he just um, reassured that somo will uh, um, uh, reply their mail and uh, they'll find a ridiculously simple way to stop or zigzag from snoring uh then uh, six days passed six torturous days frantic days so these are the words the author used to explain the condition or the uh, situation of the six days okay um uh, the deafening noise of the snore it was like very torturous and uh, they were affected really uh their hearing pro hearing uh, ailment was very much affected and uh, that uh, that noise um made maya uh, uh to have a permanent rumbling noise in her uh, in her in around her ears even she was miles away from her house okay 
Uh, now Ar Arvind also confessed that for the first time in his life he felt like uh, uh, going to school which is as come as a monastery. Monastery means it is like a place, it is like a temple, okay. So for him uh, staying in home uh, bearing this uh, unbearable uh, noise of the snore of zigzag it is far better to stay in school which is very calm as a monastery. So like that uh, Arvind confessed and uh, uh, Mrs. Krishnan uh, lost interest in her painting okay, due to all these commotions. Zag would sometimes wake up briefly when he wanted to eat some fruits and sometimes he would sit on the veranda looking sulkily and bored as he stared at the sunset at Marina Beach, the real view not the painting lying forlorn in one corner ruined by streaks of hardening papaya zigzag never spoke to anyone though everyone tried several times and in several languages to speak to him kindly he only slept and snored so after all these problems and commotions made by zigzag he was like just waking up daily once when he want to have some fruits or nuts so that only in that time he'll just wake up and he'll just eat and uh, just sit in the veranda and um, uh, see the uh, real sunset uh, in Marina Beach. Not the not the painting that was ruined by the streaks of papaya, hardening papaya. And Zigzag never spoke to anyone in all these days. He was just like uh, uh, sitting calmly, and the people in the house they 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 just tried in different languages to speak to him. But all their uh, actions went in vain. He only slept and snored. That's all. Oh, okay. So that's what he did all these days in the house. Clear? On the seventh day, Dr. Somu's email arrived. It was as Dr. Krishnan predicted. Ridiculously simple. It read, I never heard zigzag snore. In fact, zigzag hardly ever sleeps. Love, Somu. P.S. If you are rending it, difficult as my cook Visu to keep zigzag that does it said mrs krishnan fine Visu, i will not keep zigzag here another minute so here on the seventh day seventh uh, frenetic day um, dr ashok receives an email from who dr somo yes uh, it was it, it was like in the same way Dr. Uh, Krishnan uh, thought or predicted. It was very simple. Uh, Dr. Somo said that I never heard zigzag snore. In fact, zigzag hardly sleeps. So he said like that. And uh, he added, if you are not um, feeling comfortable with, with having zigzag, just contact my cook Visu and he'll take care of uh, zigzag back like that, he said. So uh, immediately, Mrs. Krishnan said, "That's it. I could. Uh, that's enough. That's enough. And uh, I cannot keep. I will not keep zigzag here another minute." So like that, she said, and uh, that's what happened. Uh, that's that's what happened after the receiving of that particular mail. Clear. Calm down, dear. I'm leaving for my clinic now. Can't it wait till? No, it's now. Mrs. Krishnan was adamant. I have invited some friends and our experts to come home and choose my paintings for the exhibition. This feathered snoring monster will drive us a mad. Come on then, Zigzag, called the Christian, nervously wondering how he would locate Somo's cook, Pisu. So, um, after that uh, email, uh, Mrs. Krishnan was... was very much interested in um, giving away zigzag back to uh, his cook Visu. So he was, she was like torturing Mrs. Mr. Krishnan to take uh, zigzag away from the home. Um, uh, now uh, Mr. Krishnan argued that okay, dear, just chill. And uh, now I'm going to the clinic. Afterwards, I'll give uh, zigzag to Visu like that. He said, but uh, she refused and she asked him to uh, take zigzag out of the house immediately uh, so without any other way uh, dr uh, uh, krishnan took uh, zigzag um, and he was took uh, zigzag away from the house and he was like confused uh, on which way he he is going to find uh, the cook
Visu. Okay. So he was very much confused. Clear. Uh, why don't you wait in the car's zigzag? He suggested. When they reached his clinic, his heart shrinking at the thought of zigzags, ear shatteringly loud snore adding to the din of the sobs and shrieks produced by the tiny patients waiting for him. But Ziggy Zaga, king of the Tonga, was not accustomed to being kept waiting and was already making his way to the clinic where he perched himself on the nurse's reception table. Don't you dare sleep, Dr. Krishna warned Zigzag fiercely and he went towards his room. So now Dr. Bring, Dr. Krishnan brings Zigzag to his clinic and um, instead of getting him inside, uh, first initially he asks Zigzag, why can't you stay in the car itself like that, he asked. Um, and then uh, because he was very much afraid that uh, already his clinic will be very noisy and very uh, loud uh, by, the pa by the loud noise made by the tiny patients. Uh, but uh, uh, now he's bringing zigzag, and uh, with that noise, zigzag's snore will also get added, and it will be very terrible to listen to that uh, ear shrieking noise. So that's why he was like uh, asking zigzag to wait in the car itself. But uh, uh, zigzag, ziggy zaga, king of the Tonga, was not accustomed to being kept waiting and was already making his way to the clinic. He was already waking, making his way to the clinic and he was like perching himself on the nurse's table and he was like uh, waiting there. Um, before entering into the clinic, uh, Dr. Krishnan just uh, tells Zigzag that don't you dare sleep and he just went inside the room. So that's what happened in this paragraph. Understood? Had hardly walked through the swinging half doors that separated his clinic from the waiting room when he heard a strange voice say you there in the blue t-shirt don't jump on the sofa and you in the red dress don't swing on the curtain it was zigzag's voice clear and commanding there was pin drop silence in the room as everyone waited open mouthed for zigzag's next sentence Dr. Krishnan was amazed, gone was Zigzag's bored and grumpy expression. Instead, of, instead, the bird looked happy and alert as it went about the job it had been trained for. First with the African witch doctor and then with Dr. Somo. So yes, um, what happened actually is, um, he, Dr. Krishnan hardly entered into the room uh, crossing that uh, swinging half door he had a strange no, strange voice and uh, what it said was you there in the blue t-shirt don't just jump on the sofa and you in the red don't re swing on the curtain so immediately after hearing this voice uh, dr krishnan was surprised and he knew that it was zigzag's voice it was very clear and commanding all uh, uh, usually the clinic of uh, Dr. Krishnan it will be very noisy and very loud uh, noise will be coming there but now there was pin drop silence and everyone waited open mouthed for zigzag's next sentence okay so Dr. Krishnan was amazed he was like excited um, he thought that gone was zigzag's bored and grumpy expression actually um, instead of the bird looked happy and alert as it went about the job it had been trained for the first with the African witch doctor and then by Dr. Somo okay so it was trained to maintain the patients who are all coming for the clinic clear yes Christian's clinic usually a noisy sea of tears and tantrums was transformed into a calm, orderly place as Zigzag efficiently soothed the frightened patients, scolded the naughty ones and made the crying ones smile. And if his yam digging song and recitation of French poetry reduced the children to helpless laughter instead of tears, he didn't look as though he minded. And best of all, Zigzag never slept or snowed even for a second. So, um, now uh, there was a change of uh, environment, environment like 
uh, the place the clinic was very much usually it was like a noisy sea of tears and tantrums and now it was like strange with a calmness it was very the place was very order it, this is due to zigzag zigzag efficiently soothed the soothed the frightened pe patients scolded the naughty ones and what and made the crying ones laugh he just sang french poetry and he just made the crying patients laugh and um, he never snored after that because he never slept uh, even for a second he he did this best in maintaining the patients in the clinic clear yeah. had a morning passed so quietly and peacefully dr krishnan when the last patient had left he called zigzag to his room zigzag flew in and sat on the table scratching the bird under his beak dr krishnan sighed and said somo was right after all you are an absolute treasure i never realized what that he meant when he called you a great help why didn't you tell me you would prefer to be at my clinic instead of snoring like that to show you are bored what do we do now no one wants you back at home they want me to leave you with visu so uh, he was surprised by the action of zigzag in the clinic in the morning so after the last patient had left he just called zigzag inside zigzag flew and sat on the table next to dr krishnan he just scratched the bird under its beak and he was like talking to the bird he just said that somo was right he he told you that you are a real treasure and uh, he also added that you are a real help i could i didn't realize it uh, earlier but now i realize that you are something different and very treasurous absolute treasure okay um he also asked the bird why didn't you tell me that you feel very bored in the house instead of uh, snoring like that you should have uh, uh, you should be in the clinic like that he was talking to the bird and uh, he also asked what do we do now no one wants you back at the home now they want me to leave you with visu so he was asking for a opinion to zigzag okay so that's what happened just then the telephone rang it was mrs krishnan sounding very pleased with herself you know Mrs Junjunwala the art critic she chuckled she doesn't want me to exhibit sunset at marina she bought it for herself for rupees 5000 isn't that the painting the papaya fell on yes mrs krishnan was laughing heartily now i had left it one corner and she chose to buy it saying she loved my new technique of painting she simply adored those streaks streaky orange orangey beads she launched into fresh gales of laughter by the way she said when she sobered down i don't think we were fair to zigzag shall we keep him with us at home just one trial for another week so now uh, dr krishnan receives a phone call from mrs krishnan she was sounding very pleasing and uh, she added that you know mrs junjunwala the art critic she purchased my painting the sunset at marina uh, uh, after hearing that dr krishnan asked that is that the is that the painting the papaya uh, fell on uh, like that he asked then immediately mrs krishnan said yes yes it was that painting and she she uh, just w- want me to sell that painting to her and not uh, to exhibit the painting in the exhibition she also paid rupees 5000 for that painting mr krishna mrs krishnan was laughing heartily now um she was like uh, she simply adored those uh, who that uh, art critic junjun wala she was uh, she loved her new technique of painting and she simply adored those streaky orangey beads which 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 is the orangey beads that was the uh, papaya that flew off from the ceiling fan uh, where zigzag kept all those fruits okay so now can you understand what uh, the point is yes 
and she also added that by the way she said when she sobered down i don't think we were fair to zigzag shall we keep him with us at home just one trial for another week so now initially she was very much annoyed by zigzag but now what she is telling she she wants zigzag to be back at home and she wants to try for an another week okay clear agreed a delight dr krishnan before he cleverly added and i could always take him to the clinic every morning so that you can paint in peace at home my boy he confided to zigzag after matters were satisfactorily settled giving the bird a toffy from his desk you have your own strange way of showing a genius a zigzag way i call it wouldn't you but ziggy zaga king of the tonga brought upon compliments as he was didn't bother to reply he just ate a toffee paper wrapper and all and then lowered one crinkly eyelid in a knowing wink so finally uh, now dr krishnan and her wife both loved uh, zigzag to be in their house okay so now um, mrs krishnan asked that uh, she wants to keep zigzag for another week uh, so dr krishnan uh, added a condition so he told that uh, it's fine to keep uh, zigzag in our house but i'll take him every morning to my clinic uh, so that you can paint peacefully in the house like that he said uh, while saying that he just confided to zigzag that uh, everything was every problem every matter was satisfactorily settled and he also gave the bird a toffee from his desk um zigzag was like eating uh the toffee and he did not uh, react too much for that compliment because he was uh he was uh, brought upon so many compliments okay so instead of giving any reaction to that uh, compliment he just ate the toffee paper wrapper and all and then lowered one crinkly eyelid in a knowing wink so that's how the story ends uh, actually the thing we should understand from this story is um every person will have some hidden talents inside them um the thing is uh, we should be at the right place at the right time to exhibit or to explore our talent so in ca- in the case of zigzag also he was very much talented in uh, maintaining the orderliness in a clinic because it was trained in that way um but uh, Uh, instead of keeping him in the clinic they just kept uh, they just took him, took him to the house and they just kept there uh, it made him very sad and very grumpy and he just slept and snored all his all those days he he stayed there okay so the problem is with the people and not with that bird because it the it was not in the place where it should be okay so it will be very um, how to say it will be uh, very um, very much uh, related to human life also okay so that's all about this story i hope you have enjoyed this story okay class now we are moving on to the glossary part it is very important we have to learn the meaning of all those uh, hard words in this lesson okay so look at the first uh, uh, word aboriginal so it is an adjective the meaning of aboriginal is native or local okay so look at the next word sarcasm sarcasm is a noun uh, the meaning is use of irony to mock or convey contempt okay so look at the next word that is fringed fringed okay it's a verb and the meaning is bordered look at the next word plumage plumage is a noun and the meaning is a bird's feather collectively okay so look at the next word that is sludgiest sludgiest is an adjective sludgiest is an adjective uh, the meaning is wet mud okay yes so now look at the next word that is grumpiness grumpiness is an adjective and the meaning is bad tempered and next one is squit squit is a noun and the meaning is spray okay yes look at the next word coyote 
coyote is a noun and the meaning is a wolf like wild dog native to north america okay look at the next word streaks it's a noun streaks what is the meaning line or strap look at the next word tantrum tantrum is a noun and the meaning is outburst outburst or flare up and the final word that is crinkly crinkly is an adjective and the meaning is wrinkly clear yes so um these are the important words or the hard words in this lesson please try to learn the meaning properly clear yes class uh, that's the end of the story of zigzag i i hope you all enjoyed the story um uh, read the whole lesson once to improve your reading practice and uh, try to learn the glossaries fully okay yes uh, so meet you in the next video thank you take care